you solo project? You know, in the absence of a major band yes. now, um, Steph and I have decided that we're going to do girl band style dressing. Yes, yeah, because, because uh, coincidentally, we often thing. coordinate colours, yeah. right. but you don't just notice very subtly. Right. Uh, any name for this band? That you Ooh. more than one direction. Any any direction. <laughs> any direction. The only way is down. Yeah, the only way is down. The other question is, can you sing? No. No. But is that really it's crucial? Been, is it necessary? It's not much of a problem, really. Morning. Morning. Morning to you both. Um, Bill, you were talking about the story to do with China and what's mm. going on with the Chinese economy, and quite a few of the papers have picked up on that. Um, good morning, everybody. And they've just looked at how companies here are being affected by that downturn in China. And the story in the Times this morning is about Rolls Royce and Bentley sales, uh, you know, cars that we make here. And they're saying sales and production of British built luxury cars have gone sharply into reverse as the crisis in China begins to bite in factories around England. Because, of course, uh, as the Chinese economy has grown, lots of the people who've made money there have, have been buying a lot of Western products like um, cars. Rolls Royce and Bentleys, also things such as whiskey as well. So there are companies in the UK which are now worried about how it is going to affect them. They're saying here uh, that the Bentleys figures, they their sales there plunged 12% from just over 5,000 cars in the first six months of this year to uh, just over 4,500 in the first six months of this year. So this year, compared to last year, there's about 1,000 cars different. So it'll be interesting to see how that continues, and I'll have more on that later. Um, car insurance is another thing which I know it, it really annoys people, doesn't it, how car insurance prices change. And The Sun's done a bit of an investigation into this, and they're saying here that the hidden car insurance charges are ramping up prices for drivers by up to £280 a year. And they're saying often if you don't swap car insurance when it comes to renewal, it, they'll often just put it up automatically. So they're talking about this auto renewal, talking about admin fees there and the difference between paying monthly and paying um, annually. So that's one of the stories in the sun. And then before I go, wouldn't we all love this? A smartphone battery that lasts a week. Mm -hmm. Story here, small British technology company has claimed to have developed a fuel cell, so a battery that could power a smartphone for a week. It's at a company called Intelligent Energy. If they have pulled that off, I imagine that's a company that's going to make a lot of money. They, they, have, to, they have to have vents in it because some it will release some kind of Oh, it'll be too vapor. hot. Oh, no. OK. So it needs vents so it wouldn't poison us while we're using our phone or something? No, not quite. It just <laughs> so it doesn't get too damp inside, I think. Something ah, like excellent. Well, if they pull it off, I think that'll be a company yeah. that does well. You All should right. just refer to our technology. I know, yeah, 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 where did that suddenly yeah. come yeah. from? Just plucked out I read the article earlier. Oh, did you? Yeah, Unlike yeah. me, that's what you said. <laughs> yes, thanks very much. You're watching Breakfast from BBC News. It's 90 minutes past six. These are the main stories this morning. Please